Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we are discussing about sorting arrays. Sorting data means that placing the data in ascending or the sending order and it is one of the most important computing applications. For example, a telephone company sorts their list of accounts by last name and within that by first name to make it easy to find phone numbers. And virtually every organization must sort some data and in many cases massive amount of it. So in this episode we are discussing about bubble sort. The program that you see in here, it will sort an array of 10 elements into ascending order. The technique that we will use today it's called bubble sort or the sinking sort and the name comes from the fact because the smaller values gradually bubble their way to the top of the array like air bubbles rising in water and while the larger values sink to the bottom of the array. Now let's go and see this program you can see that we have defined an array of size 10 and the size is defined in here. It has 10 elements, 10 numbers that are not sorted in any way. So we want to sort them in ascending order. That is to sort from small numbers and finish with larger numbers at the end. First we want to print the data items in the original order. So we have this message on the screen and we print each of the elements of the array. Now in this part of the program sorting actually starts. We have a for iteration and the for iteration starts passes. The number of passes starts from 1 and we will have as many passes as the size of the array. And pass actually means to go over the array from start to the end each time. So that is one pass. So the second time that we go from the start of the array till the end of the array, that is the second pass. So for each pass, what we are going to do? We start from index 0 and we go until the end of the array, that is size minus 1. And for each element, what we are going to do? Suppose that it starts from 0, we will check that if index 0 is greater than the element in front of it or index 1. So if index 0 is greater than index 1, that means 4 is greater than 2, then what we are going to do is that to hold the value of the index 0 into a temporary variable. That means that we get the value of 4 and we store it for a while temporary in the hold variable. Then we give the value of index number 1 to index number 0. That means 2 will become index 0 and 2 will come instead of 4. And then we give the value of hold which it was holding the value of 4 to the index in front of 2. So these two numbers they swap places between each other. 2 goes to the place of 4 and 4 goes to the place of 2. And just like this there will be one pass that will go through all of the elements of this array till the end. And the second pass will start and it will go from the start till the end of the array and, and it will check as many times as the size of the array. And finally the array will be in ascending order. Finally we print this message data items in ascending order. We print the elements of the array using this for loop and that's it, the array will be sorted. Now let's go and run this program. Now you can see in here that the data items in original order, you can see that some of the elements are not in ascending order, but at the end you can see that all of the items are in ascending order, 12, 37, 45, 68, and 89. And that's it for this episode. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the coming episodes. Stay tuned. Series.
Hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we want to discuss swapping the elements of an array. As we saw in the previous episode that we were working on the bubble sorting of an array, you saw that we swapped some elements between the elements of an array. So if we want to swap the value of the first element with the value of the second element, for example, you might think that this is how we're going to do it. So your approach might be that, for example, if we want to interchange or swap the elements between index 0 and index 1, so this is how we're going to do it, between index 0 and index 1. This is going to be index 0 and this is going to be index 1. We give the value of index 1 to index 0 and here we give the value of 6 to the 2. Now here becomes 6. Now the second step would be to give the value of index 0 to index 1. Now you can see that in index 0 we have 6 and also in index 1 we have 6. Now you can see that we lost the value of index 0. And this is a wrong approach to swap elements in an array. In fact, let's go and comment this part and let's go and try the right approach. So the right approach is to create a temporary variable, we call it hold. We give the value of index 0 to hold. So hold becomes 2. And then we give the value of index 1 to index 0. Now here it will become 6. And now we give the value of index 1 the value of hold. And you know that hold has the value of 2. Now index 1 will become 2. And this is basically the right approach to swap elements in an array. By having a temporary variable to hold the value. And that's it for this episode. I hope to see you in the coming episodes. Stay tuned.